It was an honor to fly you, Hefe. Is he seat? Mm -hmm. According to the data you retrieved, the ion coil in here creates positive streamers which stimulate electrical storms. So it makes lightning? Uh, no. It creates a positive charge which draws negative charges to it. So lightning will strike the ion coil and not anything around it. So it absorbs lightning. How do we get it out of there? We need to get around the failsafe system. There are lightning rods protecting this area. Deploy those rods, and the fail safes release the coil. Lightning rods? I thought you said this thing absorbs lightning. If Mira says it'll work, it'll work. I know, I'm just messing with her. I'll go raise the lightning rods. He used to be a lot easier to get along with. We get along fine. <sighs> Come on, let's get inside. On the first lightning rod. There should be a breaker nearby. Leaping it will force the rod up. And if I'm not near one? If you're about to get struck by lightning, Rico, just move. As fast and as far as you can. Move fast. Copy. How's it going out there? A little damp. You ever tried wrapping yourself up in your parachute like a poncho? Of course. Jesus, Rico! You all right? Oh, yeah. Fine. Strike, kids. lightning rod. Last lightning rod is up, and I 
like so. Head back to the console and you'll be able to raise the ion coil. Shit! What is it? Coffee's too hot. Burn my mouth. But, yeah, get to that console. The lightning rods have gone back down. Yeah, there's some sort of problem. Hang on. You'll still be safe if you stay near that coil. That's because it absorbs lightning, Rico. Shut up and flip that switch. Uh, yep, there you go. Gracias. Rico, there's just a glitch in the hardware. It's all. Try to signal the lightning rods from that console. Okay, got it. Lightning rods are coming back up. That should do it. We'll get to work extracting the coil. Hell yeah, we did it, kid. Yeah, nice teamwork, Sheldon. Now find me a towel. You look cold. Here. Work with me, kid. I'm living up to my end of the bargain. You and me? We've got a long way to go. How many deposed dictators later, and you're still the same asshole you were at 17? If I were 17, I wouldn't feel so banged up right now. You remember when you used to dress like a Mexican Johnny Cash? What's wrong with Johnny Cash? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Johnny Cash. It's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. <laughs> Whatever you say, hula shirt. Well, there's nothing wrong with a hula shirt. Hey, it's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. Give me that. Thank you.